This is a response to CS77 Smith's question. Um, what is face? Well, in the Philippines, it's called Haya. Um, it's... When somebody loses face, it's normally public embarrassment or something that loses their personal profile in some way. Um, where expats normally do this is, is by when they belittle somebody or they yell at somebody or push somebody or um, give some aggression to a Filipino that can make them retract or um, belittle them. Um, for example, if you were in a restaurant and the food was terrible and you stood up and said, this is the worst food ever and got the chef to come out and said, I wouldn't let my dog eat this, blah, 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 in front of everybody in the restaurant, that would be somebody losing face um, because you've publicly humiliated them. Um, in the same way as yelling at somebody in the Philippines. Generally, Filipinos don't yell at each other. Um, you will get some on more the political side, but at the same time, even they don't do it um, on a regular basis. Expats are known to be loud and aggressive, um, but if somebody loses face, it doesn't matter if they're rich or poor. They may do something outside their norm um, because they've lost their face. They fe feel they've been abused. They feel that they're you made them feel inferior, etc. As such, they may take some action against you about it. Most of the ways I deal with somebody that's awkward is utilizing other people. Um, for example, a noisy neighbour, I would speak to my mother-in-law, who would then speak to their relatives. And it sort of goes up and round, and there's no direct interaction that could cause any tension. Or, you know, you do it diplomatically. And I know it sounds like you're um, stepping on eggshells sometimes, but sometimes it's not that... Um, difficult because if you say to somebody oh that music was loud last night do you know who it is you know to whoever you know the house staying or whatever they may go and have a look and have a chat for you but if you go out there yelling and going unplugging it because I think somebody mentioned this recently about somebody unplugging somebody's stereo the next thing is the entire area had a petition to try and have that foreigner removed from his house and from wherever he was living um because it's it's all about diplomacy and i know some other people say oh this guy's been driven out of his house blah 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 a lot of it is diplomacy it's it's how a lot of expats interact with the, the local people You'll find the majority of Filipinos are easygoing. They're happy-go-lucky type people, but also they they do have they do get their feelings hurt really easily. Um, but on top of that, most of those aren't really a problem. But it's when you bump into somebody that um, is more of a tin tin god scenario. Uh, I've seen it so many times where you get the, I mean, the worst case of scenario was I was watching this very fat kid in a restaurant and the mother's there with a fake Prada handbag and the, and the kid's waiting for his dinner. And he's sitting there with his knife and fork, banging it on the table for about five to ten minutes while the chef was cooking his food. Um, I know that kid's going to be a nightmare when he becomes an adult. And there's a lot of those adults which are brought up, spoiled from day one, um, that move into influence and power, which are pretty dangerous people to be around because they're unpredictable. They've been brought up that way. Um, as such, this is where some expats fall foul because sometimes you bump into these people and they're dangerous on a daily basis without bumping into them in a bad way. Um, so 
I just say, just be, be polite, you know. Try not to, if there's a situation, try not to inflame it. There's always a way to resolve incidents. Um, Filipinos will generally resolve stuff themselves. You know, if you're at a party and somebody's been a pain, you know, being drunk and shouting, maybe there is already going to be Filipinos resolve it. The foreigner stepping in isn't really going to help uh, because they'll be embarrassed in front of all their hangers-on and what have you. Um, the easiest way of doing it is just leave Filipinos to deal with Filipinos. It's, it's a bit like foreigners. I mean, foreigners dealing with foreigners is it's much, much more acceptable um, within the expat community, I suppose. But yeah, face is one of those things you have to be very careful with. But most of the time, it's not an issue. It's, it's just when people get backed into a corner or um, made to look a fool when they didn't need to, you know. Yeah, I don't know how else to explain it. Yeah.